From triple A's to double C's and downgrades, the ratings agencies headed by Moody's, Standard & Poor's and Fitch are controversial players on the world economic stage. Their adjudications, based on discussions with financial administrators and meetings of ratings committees, can have a significant effect on a country or company's standing in the financial community, based as they are on political and economic factors. While in theory these assessments are apolitical, they can heavily influence investors, informing them of the risks they'll be exposing themselves to and whether the country in question is able or willing to repay its debts. And with the current Eurozone debt crisis, the credit ratings of all European states are under threat. A country's rating can be downgraded due to a variety of factors like worrying growth potential or a general inability to implement an efficient austerity plan, as is the case in several European countries. And once a country's credit rating has been downgraded, it in turn means an increase in interest rates for that country when it comes to borrowing, making it even more expensive to pay off its debts. Most of the countries rated pay the agencies to grade their debt standing. This represents up to 90% of the agency's revenues. But the agencies are not without their critics, showing themselves less than infallible when they gave favourable ratings to many financial products which turned out to be toxic during the 2007 subprime crisis and in 2008, shortly before it went into liquidation sparking the current global financial crisis, Lehman Brothers Bank was handed a favourable credit rating. Scores of smaller agencies may have sprung up in recent times, but the big three still count for 90% of all ratings activity.